Hello Twin Flames and welcome to day 23 of Separation Heals. So in this series we're using the powerful Divine Feminine Confessions deck by the amazing Bridget Rowe to really talk about separation, why we go through it and how it brings in healing. So thank you angels. What do we need to know today please for separation? Wow. Okay, the cards jump out like that for a reason. So these are the messages today. So the first message is I, oh wow, look at this. I'm bombarded with synchronicity messages all day, every day. How true is that? I am bombarded. What a powerful word. So it's not just like you receive one sign or two signs or three signs. You receive 10, 20, 30. You're bombarded with them. They're coming at you every moment of every day. You are bombarded with the synchronicity and all the signs and all the symbols and all the ways the angels show you that this journey is real. But not only that, all the ways the masculines communicate with you through their higher self on the 5D realm in dreams, through music, but also in the things you see. The synchronicities, the number sequences, the way that you just go, oh, that's so amazing and real. And that's why it happens. And nobody understands unless you're a twin flame. Because these kinds of things just don't make sense to the rational mind. It all operates in the heart space and in love. And that's where the irrational mind is. So you are bombarded with synchronicities and signs and messages all day, every day. Messages from above messages from your higher self, messages from your divine masculine to show you that they care. And the masculines receive this too. You know, when you're in separation, you are mirroring each other. So you're healing, but you're also mirroring. So your masculine will also be bombarded by signs. And they're giving me a block throat chakra. So sometimes if the masculine struggle to communicate with you, through their words or even their actions they will show you in other ways and these will come through as these amazing aha moments and synchronicities that just blow you away and they receive them too things that remind them of you things that open their heart and with the masculines sometimes it's smell you know the masculines are reminded of you in the ways that they smell things they're reminded of your perfume your aftershave coffee food that you've eaten together, flowers, anything that kind of mm, it pulls them back into that moment. And there you are from the back of their mind in the front of their mind. And they can't stop thinking about you. So they are bombarded with signs too. And such a powerful word to use, bombarded, which means you've these the signs are just thrown at you. You know, you can't escape it, you can't understand it, and sometimes you can't make sense of it with words. You know, you can't express it, it's just something that's felt. It's a sign between you and the universe. And sometimes people will send me emails with a message or something they've seen, and they're like, share this with everyone. And I'm like, no, it's a personal message for you. That's the universe loving you. That's the universe guiding you. That's your masculine showering you with love. So when it comes to you, ah, oh, breathe it in because it's so powerful. Songs, images, all that you can name, it's all connected to you. So this is a really powerful card and I'm really feeling the emotion. I know you can feel that. So, you know, it's not just about me reading the card. It's about me feeling the card and I'm feeling this. Oh, the smells and the sights and the visions and the, the songs and the noises and everything that you feel with all of your senses, the things you taste. So it's also food, drinks. You know, if you've shared something together, it will take you back to that moment. A song will come on. It'll take you back. A smell will take you back. And it will just remind them of you, remind you of that. So you are bombarded with synchronicities and signs all day long, every day. Messages, signs, numbers, images, cars, you name it, it all connects to you. <clears throat> and they're giving me this block throat chakra. So this is what happens more and more when you're not in communication. When you can't physically communicate, you communicate in other ways and it will blow your mind. And that's just blown my mind there, making me feel it. So it's the way you feel 
which remember is always real. So you will be bombarded with signs, synchronicities, messages, cars. When it says cars, you know, you may see the car that they drive or something on the registration or there may be a message on a van going past, you know, Union. Or you may walk past Union Street or something really powerful. Or if you've got that one song that just reminds you of them and it just kind of pulls your heart out and hits you in the feels. You know, those are the kind of messages that will bombard you and blow your mind. So these aren't just things that are going to happen once in, you know, a blue moon. These are things that are going to happen over and over again. Bombarded with signs. I love that. I know you care about me, even when you pretend not to. So this is you knowing in your heart and your soul that they do care, even when you pretend not to. So you're saying to your mask, I know you care about me, even when you put a mask on and you pretend that you don't. So you have to remember that the way you feel divine feminines is real. So even when the masculines are saying things to you, lying to you, hiding their feelings, busy with other things, they care about you and you know it because it's something you feel. You feel it, you, you, you know, you, you just sense it, it's a sensation. It's like this feeling that you're being bombarded with signs, it's the same feeling. You just know, you just know in the core of who you are that they care about you. And eventually they will admit that, you know, that they're sorry that they hid the feelings and they denied it. <clears throat> they're giving me this blocked throat chakra. So the message for today is, don't worry if there's no communication. There's no communication and separation. Or even if you're just going through something right now where you haven't communicated for a few days or a few hours, it's okay. The angels are saying it's okay helps on the way. You will be shown in other ways. They will communicate to you in other ways through messages and music through the signs that you see, the things you feel, and the way that you know that they care, no matter what. And you're saying when you pretend not to. So you know the pretending. You know. Even if they're saying the harshest things to you, or they're saying it's over, that's it, it's done, I don't care about you. If they're calling you silly words like stalker and all these things, you know that they are pretending. And eventually they will admit that to you and they will apologise. And that's the truth. And that's the universe saying that to you. That's the universe's promise. They will open up and admit everything to you in time. So you have to trust and breathe and let go. I see it in your eyes. I feel it from your soul. Thank you, angels. And I see it in your actions with me. So you know. It's something you don't just see, even though you see it in their eyes, because the eyes are the windows to the soul. And that's where their vulnerability is. You feel it in your soul. And this is the whole message that I've received since I started this reading. That it's about the way you feel. Mm, you sense it, you know, you, oh, you feel it. It's so powerful. You know, it's taking me over just doing this reading. So I can only imagine what it feels for you. So you feel it, something from their soul. You see it in their eyes. You see it in your actions with me. So they wouldn't need to block you if they didn't care. They block you to process their feelings, to process their emotions, the intensity of it all, to find a solution. They run away and hide. If they didn't care, they'd just move on. They'd walk on by. They give me that song, walk on by, okay? So they just walk on by. And sometimes they try to walk on by, but they're always dragged back to you because you were divine magnets. So you're bombarded by signs and you know that they care no matter what they do or what they sit, they say or see or any of these things because it's a feeling. I like to be left alone a lot too. So you're saying it's okay if you want your quiet time. I like my own company too. I like being on my own too. So you're saying, just be honest with me. Just tell me what you want. But most of the time, the masculines don't. They're afraid. They don't know how to communicate to you. So they run off. But then they will communicate to you in other ways through signs, synchronicities, and you feel in the connection. That's fine. I just like to know you still care about me with an occasional hello. So you're saying, it's okay if you want space. I'll give you the time you need, but just drop in here and there now and again and say, hello, I'm still here. And that's the hard thing because 
Divine feminines, all you really want is for your masculine to know that you care. And all you want is to know that they care and that they aren't going anywhere, that they are still there. But it's the fear, you see. You know, when they aren't sending you a message or ringing you up or replying to your messages or when they block you or walk away, they're not giving you that reassurance. So you go into fear. So you have to move into a place of peace where you have faith over fear. So you understand that when they do do their thing and they run away and they do whatever they need to do, when they need that space, don't take it personally. Instead, use that time as an opportunity for you because you like being left alone too. You know, you like space too. You like working on your dreams and goals and your life too. And that's why it happens because the universe knows that you have these dreams too and you have to nourish you too. Because otherwise the feminine would spend all their time nourishing the masculine. And you also have to nourish you. So the angels are saying to you, you know, if they aren't giving you that occasional hello, don't worry. Because you'll receive the signs in other ways. And that's really what this reading is about today in, in this day. Because the angels are saying to you, if you're panicking right now because there's no communication, perhaps you're worrying because you see all the twins on the channel and they are receiving communication. You're wondering why you aren't. The angels are saying, Whew, breathe, it's okay. You are safe. The angels are here. There's nothing to fear. So relax because you're being bombarded with signs and synchronicities and messages in other ways. So it doesn't need to be a hello because you're receiving a hello from the universe. I have plenty of options, I just don't want them. So again, this is you realising that you don't want the options that are coming to you. You know, you are a beautiful, dynamic person. You have a lot to give. You are a precious jewel. So anyone out there would be lucky to be with you. And you have options and you know this and your twin knows this too. You know, they aren't silly. They understand that you have options. And you're saying, I have plenty of options. I just don't want them. So you're acknowledging this and you're saying to your masculine, look, you know, I'm not desperate. There's plenty of options out there for me. I just don't want them. I'm not interested. I would rather be alone than be with someone that doesn't make me feel the way you do. So you're acknowledging that. And your masculine has options too. But they don't want them either because they want you. But they have to learn the hard way. So most of the time, the masculines will run into something they don't mean to get tangled up in. Or they're already tangled up in something before they meet you. So when you come together physically, you have to work through so many things. But you as a divine feminine are strong enough and powerful enough to be on your own until you're ready for union. Some of you will find a soul teacher or you will you know, already be in a relationship and that's something you have to work through. But ultimately, if you're watching this video, you're thinking, I just don't want anyone else. I've got to a point in my life where I'm happy being me and I would rather be me forever than be with someone else who doesn't give me what my twin gives to me. But remember, happiness comes from within and you give to yourself. So the angels are acknowledging that they understand that you have lots of options and your masculine understands that you have options. You know, you have options, there's choices there. So trust and keep the faith, you are loved. If, if, is there anything, sometimes you see you can't get the words out. Is there anything I can do to please you? Just let me know. So this is when we go into that desperate energy, you know, and the words don't come out right because we just want to smooth things over. You know, when we go through separation, the moment we go into separation or during separation, we can be panicking, thinking, is there anything I can do to please you? Just let me know. You know, you want to say to your masculine, how can I sort this out? Is there anything I can do? You know, what do you want me to do? But all you have to do is be you. You don't have to do anything special. You don't have to try and please them. Just do you relax, breathe, you don't have to chase them down, if they need space, if they've run away, if they've, you know, moved away from you and separation has come in, it's happened for a reason, it's happened to bring in a healing, so instead of saying to them, is there anything I can do to please you, just let me know, start saying this to yourself, what can I do to please you, and your higher self will say thank you, thank you for giving me some attention, 
So give yourself the attention that you freely give to everyone else because that will heal you and it will bring in this powerful energy of a rejuvenation and it will allow you to relax and breathe and connect with source and feel energized again because separation comes in to heal you when you're feeling exhausted when you feel you can't go on when you don't know what to do you're overthinking everything and there's too much going on in your mind and you're feeling stressed and worried that's when you surrender and give it to heaven and that's when you say to yourself what can I do to please you so this is about you pleasing you during separation, looking after you in separation, not looking after them. You look after them just by being you and shining that light and knowing yourself. Sometimes I wish I could just hate you, but I can't. And that's so true. And I spoke about this earlier in the series too. You know, you think it would just be so easy if I just hated you, then I'd move on and I wouldn't care. And it wouldn't matter to me what you were doing because I just won't care. But you can't because you're meant to be. And this also goes for your masculine. You know, sometimes they wish that they could forget you, not hate you because the masculines never hate the feminine, no matter what they say. Okay? But sometimes the masculines wish that they could forget the feminine because it would be easier for them to get back into their own life you know, bury themselves in their job or their karmic situation or their world and just move on. But the masculines can't move on and the feminines can't move on. Why? Because you're meant to be together. You belong together. So sometimes I wish I could just hate you, but I can't. You can't. You can't hate each other. And hate and love, there's a fine line. You know, if you hate them, you're not really hating on them. You're hating the situation. You hate the fact that you're not together and that's the ego wanting it now in this moment. The ego is very now me, 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 you know, the ego is me based and you have to move out of that because that's a conditioned expectation love and you have to move out of expectations and into unconditional love and it's okay to expect the best and expect union and, you know, have that vision of what you want, but an expectation in the sense of, I need a response now, I need it now, I want it now, or it has to go a certain way, is meaning you're not being flexible. And you have to adapt and be flexible in a twin flame love. You can't put a clock on it, you can't put conditions on it, you have to let go. And that's what we learn as a divine feminine, to let go. The masculines find their way, and the feminine learns to let go, and trust the masculine to find their way. So if you're not receiving physical 3d communication don't worry because the universe has got you and your masculine your angels and your guides will communicate to you in many many different ways to help you to feel at peace and sometimes options will come in for you when you are shining your light and you may think why are all these people coming to me you know why why are all these options coming to me but not my twin and it's because your light is bright so it means you're doing something right so just thank the universe and say thank you because it's showing you that you are a jewel that you are desirable that you are lovable and that you are safe that you are a sexy dynamic intelligent beautiful person and that you deserve love so when options are coming to you it's because you are attractive you are emitting attractive energy, you are in your light, you know, when you, you're repelling people away, it's because you're in a negative state of mind, but when you're open and loving, and you're shining this light, the darkness is attracted to the light, and options, so remember that, it's a good thing if options are around you, because it shows you that you're in your power, and somebody actually commented and said, you know, can you tell Jesus to move all of these men away from me? And it's a good thing that men are coming to you or women are coming to you because it's a sign that you're in the light. So just keep doing you. And every time someone, you know, comes to you and propositions you and wants you, just see it as a blessing because it's showing you how beautiful, powerful and strong and magical you are, that you are a creator. And one day that option is going to be your twin. And your masculine, by the way, does not see you as an option. They see you as a first choice. And you have to understand that nobody compares to you. But they have to sometimes learn lessons with others to find their way to you. 
So stay in the light. And the universe will bombard you with signs and symbols and numbers and synchronicities that show you the truth. That this love is real. And you can't hate each other because it's true love and it's meant to be. So trust in that love. Have a great day. Let me know in the comments below how the universe bombards you and I'll see you soon.